Pokemon have introduced us to our brand new Paradox forms, and the first ones that we've seen for the Pokemon Dawn Fan it is both a future form and a past form. I want to talk a little bit more in detail about it and my thoughts about the Pokemon in and of itself. Let's get into it. Now, if you haven't actually seen the full trailer that has come out, I'll leave it down below in the description. But essentially, I want to focus on this one little segment where you're talking to Arvin and he brings out a specific book. Apparently, there's going to be one for each version, and each one is going to just kind of focus on one of these forms. This is the past version, the prehistoric version of Don Fan that is teased to be in one of the games. And this is the futuristic one that's going to be in one of the games as well. So my thought is that it's obviously going to be the past version is going to be in Violet and the future version is going to be in Scarlet. There's more information on the website, but I'd like to get into something else before we jump onto the website. The main thing that comes from these uh, pre and post time kind of forms, so that the futuristic and the past version, is that it confirms that there's going to be other versions for different Pokemon, like Donphan, that are going to have these different variations. There's been a lot of leaks that are saying that there's going to be a bunch of different Pokemon, depending on whichever version you pick, the playthrough, it's going to have variations like this. Now, I know Tyranitar, for example, is one of them, so it's going to have a futuristic version and a prehistoric version. I'm just excited to see which ones we're also going to get between those two and other Pokemon that we usually see in the Pokedex. Now, unlike the other Pokemon that have been reviewed and kind of shown off to us throughout all the trailers, these two prehistoric and futuristic versions show up nowhere with other details besides just photos of them. And the only other additional information we get about them is on this page here on the Pokemon website in respective to these two different books. Obviously, one's going to be in the Scarlet version, one's going to be in the Violet version. These are the same exact books that Arvin shows us in the trailer, and I think they're going to show up more than once. I say that these books are going to show up more than once because, one, you can't make these paradox forms and not use it on other Pokemon. And two, I think it's because that this book is going to show more than just paradox forms. I think it's going to give us lore about the riding Pokemon that you're going to use in your game respectively. Continue on about the book a little bit more on a larger scale so it's easier for everyone to see. Obviously, Scarlet Book is going to be in Scarlet. Violet Book is going to be in Violet. The interesting thing that they say about this, though, is that this records info from an expedition written very long time ago. Expedition is said to have traversed an uncharted area of the Paldea region, but whether or not the accounts depicted in the books remains unclear to be true. So obviously we see Arvin has a variety of different books that he usually carries with him in the different trailers. These are just focused, obviously going to be on the left side, we're going to have Scarlet, and on the right side we're going to have Violet versions, respectively. This all ties into our prehistoric and futuristic versions of Dawn Fan because photographs and sketches of unidentified creatures fill the pages of these books, respectively. Enter in our two big guys right here. On the left side, we have the monster known as Great Tusk, which is the prehistoric version, and the monster known as Iron Treads as the futuristic version. Starting off with Great Tusk, the book describes how this savage monster attacked the expedition team with its large body and tusks, mortally wounding one of the explorers. So right on nasty guy. Makes sense for a really prehistoric animal trying to survive and get through the world as best as possible. Next is the monster known as Iron Treads. It's said that when this monster curls its body and rolls to attack, it leaves a trail gouging the ground as if it had scorched the earth. Kind of also leads into one of my other points I want to bring up later on in the video. Respectively, Great Tusk will be depicted in the Scarlet Book, and Iron Treads will be depicted in the Violet Book. I'm assuming that the Scarlet Book is going to be in the Scarlet version, and the Violet Book is going to be in the Violet version, or they may be flip-flopped like they usually do in these games. We're just going to have to see. Now, these descriptions lead into one I want to think about, the actual typing of these guys, because I don't think it's just going to be normal ground like the regular Don fan is. I think Great Tusk is actually going to be fighting in ground, going off of its savage monster attacks and mortally wounding individuals. It's a fighting Pokemon, clearly. It's going to defend itself. It's a prehistoric animal, and what we know about prehistoric animals in general is that they were very savage, again, to try and make sure that they got through the terrible and kind of savage world that they lived in in prehistoric time. Now, for Iron Treads, the futuristic one, I actually think it's going to be ground and fire, mostly because of the segment that it says it leaves a trail gouged into the ground as if it had scorched the earth. Emphasis on the scorched part. I think it's fire and ground because if you look at the snout as well, it has a little bit of a fiery glow on it as well that you don't really see as much on the Great Tusk 
version. I'm really glad that they actually showed these Paradox forms off, especially since they've been teased for so long. And I am glad that they show the Don Fan one, because each version is so drastically different from the other. Obviously, Great Tusk is just an absolute massive unit, and it just looks intimidating as can be, while the other version, Great Treads, or Iron Treads, is just an absolute monster as well but in a more sleek version. Nonetheless, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I cannot wait to play these games. I hope you guys enjoy these two different versions as much as I do. Personally, I like Great Tusks more, but that's just my opinion. Let me know which version you guys think is better and which one you're going to go after more. Other than that, hit the like button, hit subscribe. I have some more theories coming out, and we're only a week away coming out to Scarlet and Violet. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.